guys road trip again I bought a truck and we gotta run out and get it so guys I'm just waiting on my wife to come she's gonna ride with me the guys the shop guys are busy so me and her are gonna take a little road trip go up and pick this truck up it's about an hour away so um, until then it's a beautiful day got a nice nice day for a drive and uh, stay tuned 1997 pre-ELD uh, it's got the cat 6TS motor great motor those are all the details I can give you so before we head out for the truck we gotta stop for lunch just a burrito and an amazing salad all right guys we're here just pulling into the place here who's excited to see the truck like I said it's a 1997 uh, got a big cat motor in there see which truck it is so this is actually the first truck or second truck maybe I went to pick up most of the guys when I when we buy a truck out of state or whatever we think it to fly out have a good time a little road trip um, I, don't, I only get an hour drive at least I get it with my wife so happen to be the Mack dump truck we're actually in the Rosselli yard I hate to let you down but right here it is there she sits yeah guys I was checking these trucks out at auction here a couple days ago and I got picked this one up for a good price. And I didn't buy it for the truck. We're not gonna really license it. We're just gonna, we just got it for the engine. So if you know of someone looking for parts, it's a 1997. nineteen ninety seven. I I I, uh, I don't know what to tell you because <laughs> I mean there might be a few good things on it, but uh, fuel tanks are good, I think. I think. It's got a set of steps. I gotta get this un this trailer unhooked. Um. Yeah. So no passengers today. Hopefully this thing fires up. And I can get it back to the shop. We'll see. First off, I gotta figure out how to get this thing unhooked. Oh, it's got landing gear. Alrighty. Let's get this sucker fired up. Yeah, I think they were going for lightweight. Had to get the, the mattress out, the seat. So I'd definitely say this is a super lightweight truck. Um, I'm gonna just pop the hood, check the oil, check some of the fluids, make sure this is good to go. Oil looks good. Time to fire it up. Got my low air warning light going off. Let's see if I can bump the idle up just a bit. No 
Cruz. Oil pressure looks good. It's telling me 953,000 miles. We'll see. So yeah, this truck come from Roselli. Um, they have hundreds of trucks there, a huge carrier here in upstate New York. And I know, I mean, they have to have somewhat of a half decent maintenance program if they gotta stay in, if they wanna be in business in upstate New York. Um, but you know, you buy it at auction, so you don't know what you get. Sometimes, sometimes you make out well, other times you don't. So I'm gonna, Get this thing unhooked. If I can put these somewhere. Yeah, you got this on. All right, guys. So I got bigger problems in this light. Anyway, I got no brakes. That's a problem. So I gotta figure this out. I'm stressing, I'm sweating. This thing is killing me. The one nice thing, this door, it does have full access. So when I'm down here, banging on this brake, you can see it's all rusted. So I have no brakes, right? Now, I just beat on it with my hammer, my other hammer. I'm keeping these in my truck on the way home. All right, I think I'm golden. Crazy. There's a will, there's a way, that's what they say. Well, now, just to get back to the yard. See if we can make it back. Look at that. Look at that. Almost like a suicide door, right? And this thing comes open. You got full access. You ain't gonna get that with no Kenworth, no Peterbilt. Trust me. I know so because you got your mirror brackets that mount onto the post. You don't mount onto the door. Done for. See that? Guys, I we just stopped. Had to get a little uh, gas for the other truck. Show you. It says AC switch turn off. It's really really hot in here. Wow. I gotta get back to Geneva. And I don't want to risk it for a little AC. Who knows what that switch is gonna do. Guys, we're back. We made it. And I want to say, nothing against Rosselli. We have old trucks too that are beat up. You got a spare one, whatever, is what it is. But they have a lot of, Rosselli has a lot of nice new trucks as well. So, but we made it back. And I know. Roselli gave this thing a rough life, but wait till we get done with it. So it's parked way in the back, and I got my taxi driver. I don't know if I trust him. Do I trust you? Yeah, yeah. We're heading back to the shop. As long as I can make it there safe. Now, when you stick out your tongue, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I, I just like you, to get air. You like to get air? Your tongue yeah. likes to get air, too, huh? You got that pedal to the floor. Yeah. Say so. Free in here. Careful. So, guys, uh, 
engine ran super well. Jake brake worked great. Um, I think the engine will make a good engine for a Peterbilt or for a Kenwood, not for an international. So, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Hopefully, maybe we'll have some more fun with that truck. Uh, I won't beat up the motor, but just, you know, have some fun with the truck. Beat it up a little bit. We'll see. Thanks a lot for watching.